Hey there guys, OGM here, welcome you back to Paper Mario. So guys, in the last episode, we did some stuff, a lot of faffing around, but guys, today, everyone, today we go back to continue to screw around because there are things that need to be turned in and things that need to be done and do's that have to be did, and yeah, welcome. That's all I really got, just honestly, welcome. Hello, Koopa, want nothing to do with you. Mr. Goomba, where are you? There you are. I knew you were coming. I've got hiccups. I've got hiccups. I drank water between episodes because, you know, I had to refresh my voice. And here we go. I've got hiccups. Lovely. Let's see how long they last. Probably forever. It's fine. Either way, though, goodbye, Goombas. Goodbye. So, okay, I got stuck. I got stuck behind a stupid plant. Come on, you plant. Mr. Plant. Whatever. It's fine. Jump on your face. What a great way to start this episode with nothing. All right, Goombario. Start this episode out right. Kill this guy in one shot. That did not do it. You wasted my time. You wasted my everything. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, maybe you didn't waste my time. You know what? You know what? Maybe this is going to be a good episode. Maybe this is going to be a good episode. I like it. I feel it. You know what? I feel good. Na 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 na. I knew that I would now. Na 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 na. So good. Bam bam. So good. I got the kill. Bam bam bam. Okay, we're done. Either way, though, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Flower point. I need that from my hammer throw. All right, here we go. Go ahead and come through here and back to the Toad Town. All right. Well, meanwhile, back at Toad Town, we need to go see the, the Great Air Weege. All right, Great Air Weege, where are you at, bro? Where are you at, bro? Down we go. Bye. And then Mr. Air Weege. I know you were over here on the rock last time. Haha, -ha, sir, I found you. Get ready to be exploded. That's the wrong thing. I need... Why can I not... Okay, I was going to say, why do I not remember the button to bring out my partner? Jeez. All right, so there we go. Splode on the great Weege. All right, hello, Weege. Oh, Mario, I forgot to have an adventure sooner than later. I'm training. What is that the dry night does? And I'm sure there's a train for the toad down. Hey, maybe I'll tag along. No? You sure? Oh, just give me a chance. Oh, what's that, Mario? You need something. He what? Mr. Koopa Koot wants to get my autograph. Me? He wants me to sign something? Whoa, cool. I'm a flattered. I guess maybe a little bit of clumsy after all, huh? Oh, wait one second. All right, then write it down. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Here you are, Mario. My autograph. Give my regards to Mr. Koopa Koot, okay? What the heck is that? Luigi's on a... Excuse me? What is that? It's like... Like a, a half done V and like a backwards well I guess that's a regular seven it's like a, a que like a question mark without a dot I don't even know man what is Luigi's autograph dude jeez whatever it's fine but here we go Bombette hello madam how are you today are you doing well I bet you are you look very sweet and innocent which is fine with me but here we go back to the Koopa Koot also you know what this is now, like, the fourth episode in the city. So I think after this one, like, after we turn in this quest, if Koopa Koot has another request, we'll accept it. But I think we should probably move on with the story, because let's face it, we've done a lot in between stuff, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot more that unlocks in between the next set. So, you know what? We should unlock stuff. It's fine. Everything's fine. Come through here. Hello, Goomba. And then we have Mitter, Middle Little Koopa Man. Blah, blah, blah. Mittel? No. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. We have a Koopa. Bottom line. Come on, Bombette. We have places to be, Koopas to find, and other bombs to see for you. Maybe you'll find a lovely suitor. Just maybe you guys can combine your fuses and make one gigantic king bomb. Chuck Quizmo again. I just saw that. Hello, Chuck Quizmo. I'm ready for more star pieces. I wonder how many we're going to get. I really have no idea. All right. Hello, sir. Yet again, I brought you Air Weege. Here you go. Up in heaven, brothers, you're a wizard, Mario. <laughs> you're a wizard. Yes, exactly. How did you know? Except I don't have the right voice. I'm sorry. I can always make it that voice, though. I always can use another wise wizard. Oh, you don't have the... Go okay, yeah, I figured that was going to be one coin. Mario, here we go. Can't think of any other favor. Oh, perfect. No more favors. Perfect. Got three star pieces, which was amazing. Also, wait a minute. I didn't read that. Did he say come back later? Or is he just completely done? I didn't bother to read. 
Hold on a second. What are we having, huh? Can't think of any favors I need at the moment. I bet I'll need more later. Okay, perfect. So he probably does some based on chapters as well. So that's fine. All right, well, then we leave here. Let's go see Chuck Quizmo. Hello, sir. Kizowie. It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Do you want a quiz? Of course, dude. We already know what to do. We've done this so many times now. Here we go. Hello, lovely toad lady. Question time. What's the color of the pants that the Goomba King was wearing? Red and white, I believe. Oh, baby. Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. Cool. Another one done. You've correctly answered four questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. Well, thank you once again, Chuck Quizmo. I've gotten four of your star pieces now. Hooray. I'm glad that we can just go back to Chuck Quizmo all the time and just get all these star pieces. I mean, if we want to get that, what was that, Power Plus badge? I'm pretty sure that Chuck Quizmo is going to be the answer to that. All right, but here we are, back inside the main drag... And thankfully, we have no more quests from the Koopa Coot. And also, we need to figure out how to get the train going. We know that we need Bombette because we saw the rock. But other than that, I mean, who knows what else we have to do. Maybe we have to go find gas or something. I don't know. But what I do know is that this little this little man right here, he's in the way. And it's time for Bombette to make him blow away. All right, Bombette, it is your time to shine, lovely lady. Go ahead and slam into this guy's face hole. Face hole! Yeah, got it. Nailed it. Goodbye, sir. And then Goomba. Haha. -ha. I am doing the win. The win is mine. Goodbye, sir. You're gone. Cool. Two star points, and now we have 47. Also, health? Do I did I need health? I guess, obviously. They gave it to me, but I don't remember needing health. Huh. Whatever, it's fine. Also, thank you, Super Spin. That got me away from that Koopa. I appreciate it. All right, well, then here we go, guys. Down to the choo-choo. I love trains, man. I really do. It's fine. Trains are amazing. Hello, everyone. I'm here to go free your train. All right, Mr. Train. Hello. Also, pigs. I just, why? Why? I have a silver pig. That's great, but why? What is the point of pig? All right. Bomb on rock. Goodbye. Cool. I've done it. Now, talk to the conductor, I suppose? Oh, thank you, Mario. The train's back on track. All aboard. Wait, what? Mount Rugged? That's not the desert. Train's about to depart. Please board quickly. That's not the desert, though. That's... What? I'm confused. Unless Mount Rugged is supposed to be, like, the first stop and we just have to stay on? Huh. All right, well, here we go. Off to Mount Rugged. Goodbye, everyone. On to, I guess, Chapter 2, I suppose. Here we go. Goodbye, Pigo. I love you. Oh, this looks like a desert. 100% this looks like the desert. Okay, I don't feel bad then. This looks like a desert. Also, I love how Bombette's just chilling in the back. She's got her own little VIP seat. I love it. Also, I love how the smoke is stars. I just realized that. They're little star mans. I love that. I really do. Hey, I was right. Chapter 2. The Mystery of the Dry Dry Ruins. Cool. All right. Well, there we go. Also, that's definitely a chain jump. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, cool. Chapter two. I see arrows. And tra oh, there's a little toad. Station. Hooray. We found the thing. Mount Rugged. Mount Rugged. Please, passengers. Heading for the dry day desert or the... Oh. There it is. Just go over. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay. Cool. Hey! It's the Middle Eastern Toads. Okay, cool. We saw these guys earlier. Nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this. Egg. What? You got an egg. A unknown origin restores 5 HP? I wonder what I could do with that. I guarantee you could probably use that to cook something. I guarantee it. Or like maybe like an upgrade to the kitchen? Because, I mean, it's just an egg. It's not like a Mario item. It's just egg. 
Hello, egg. Also, I think I saw a silver block in the background. I think I did, which is very dis... Yes, I did. Oh, boy. Also, didn't we see a silver block somewhere else, too? I think it was in the sewer, right? I think it was in the sewer. I still love the little shockwave. Cool. All right. Well, there's nothing else we can do here, which is disappointing. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. Take the heal. Perfect. And now... No, confounded. Where could it be? I don't know who's talking, but okay. Hey! It's the mailman. What voice did I give him? I don't even remember. Uh, sorry, folks. Very sorry. I'm looking for something, not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why you are? You're the Mario. Hello there. My name's Perry Carey. I deliver the letters. Um, I'm not normally a letter perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Would you know I dropped it in Mount Rocket and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon the letter anywhere around here, please, you know, tell me, all right? Don't read it. That's illegal. In case you didn't know, it's illegal to read other people's mail. I'll be searching the area thoroughly, though. All right, bye, Perry Carey. I guess we got to go find your letter. Yay, side quests. I like side... Ooh, hello. I can't get under there. That's disappointing. Also, that's definitely a slide, 100%. Can I just walk up it? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Cool. Slide. All right, what else do... Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. It's got a little door thing like how it did at the uh, the forest area. I like it. Also, that made me level with that hole. How much do you want to bet that there's going to be a slab I'm going to have to take to get through holes? Monty Mole, hello, buddy. I need Goombario. I don't know why I didn't expect there to be enemies here, but I totally need you, Mr. Monty Mole. Oh my gosh, that face. That poor Monty Mole. Jeez. All right, let's go ahead and swap to Goombario, and you, sir, tell me the thing. That's a Monty Mole. Monty Moles are the rock-throwing moles. Big time mischief makers. Ugh, max HP 3 attack power 2 and 0. Ugh. They have all kinds of scary-looking faces. They're pretty weak, though. Maybe they wear sunglasses because they're really sensitive eyes. Or maybe they're just hip. Wow. I didn't realize those were sense or sunglasses, rather, not sensitive. Huh. Okay, well, that Monty Mole is going to die then because I've already hit him once with a first strike and then a hammer attack. Boom. Bye, Mr. Monty Mole. But he leaves behind his hole? Hmm. If he leaves behind his hole... I'm wondering if that means that you can make another enemy summon through... Oh, okay, I got it. I thought I reached that too early. My bad. No, you can't actually scan the hole. That seems very odd, though, that they just leave the hole behind. That doesn't seem normal. I feel like there's probably something later on that's like going to feed off of a Monty Mole. Maybe. Might be something we need to watch for. Give it the HP. And now either up or down. Up has an arrow, which we... Ooh, hello, Monty Mole. If up has an arrow, that means it's the right way. And no one wants to go the right way the first time. If you go the wrong way, you're actually going the right way. But here we go. We've got mini Monty Moles. I'm going to go ahead and use Power Jump here. Let's see if we can kill one off. Perfect. Perfect. Love that. Bye, buddy. And then Goombario, I need you. Okay, never mind. Dang. I really need to get better at dodging these rocks. I get it's the first time I've ever seen them, so I need to learn how to do it. But dang, man. That is a heavy hit. I mean, for real, though, that is one heavy hit. Let's go ahead and use Hammer here. Kill this guy off. Goodbye, sir. You're gone. Bye, Mr. Monty Mole. And then Goombario, I need you to go ahead and go boink. And Dodge Rock. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Man, that time is weird, though, for those rocks. I mean, it's still when it's close to you. That's not a shock, but the actual timing for the rock throw itself is very interesting. Huh. Oh, well. No big deal. I'll learn it eventually. Give me corns and you. Sleepy sheep. Hello. Give me that. And now, big block. I can still destroy it. The block's... Ooh. Hello. What up, little buddy? Wacka woo. I'm wacka. Just another picture-perfect day atop Mount Rugged. The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing. Wacka doo. Oh, am I going to be... I'm not going to... Um... Actually, I am that mean. <laughs> yeah, it was 
worth it. Whack a ow, don't hit me. You got a whack a bump. Whack a bump from Mount Rugged Resource. Wow, 25 and 25. Holy crap, that is a good item. Actually, I don't even have enough HP and FP for that yet. That is a mega item. I wonder if that's like a one-use only type of thing, though. So, like, save it in case of an emergency break the glass. Huh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and save here, I guess. Why not? I mean, we've gone quite a ways. But where are we? We are... Oh, wait, there's a slide. Hello, slide. Can I get up there? There's a door. And the... No, there's not. What? Unless there's a door farther back or something that I missed? Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we got a badge. Hello, badge. Also, Monty Mole. Hello, Monty Mole. Goodbye, Mr. Monty Mole. Boom. I'm really curious if we're actually going to get the hammer upgrade here because the fact that we're actually starting to get things that have 3 HP now as standard, I could see them giving you an upgrade here. And then plus the simple fact that out of everything, they've already shown two silver blocks now, so they might be like, hey, remember these silver blocks? You might want to. It might be something really good to remember, or at least keep in mind for later. I don't know if remembering is exactly the best thing to keep in mind, but or I guess the best way to phrase it, rather, I should say. But they may be giving us the upgrade sooner rather than later at this point. All right, give me your rock. Goodbye, rock. You know what? I'm going to do this. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and refresh. Because I'll get free HP from it. But then Goombario is going to end up killing off the Monty Mole anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So that's really smart, actually. Cool. Strategy. I love it. I can do it once in a while. Goodbye, Mr. Monty Mole. Boom. Cool. All right. Well, there we go. Six star points. Go us. Oh, wow. And HP. That was really good then for that refresh. Oh, hey, there's the letter. How do I get letter? Also, that. I want that badge, but more importantly, there's the letter for the side quest. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Hmm. Now, here's the question. I know that the star is always refreshed when it comes back to Mario's turn, which is good. But my question is, now that we can actually, you know, bring in the stars whenever we need, how often is it actually worth using the star? And, like, what I mean by that is, obviously, we saw the star at the very beginning of the chapter, which looked like it was the bow lady, which we actually had her talk earlier. Um, How often is it actually worth using the stars? Are the stars, like, again, in case of emergency, break the glass? Or are they actually going to be, like, a feasible part of the gameplay mechanics now. I don't know. But how do... Oh! Cooper. That's how I get it. I was going to say, how do I get that? No, I don't need that. Sorry, Goombario. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to summon in Cooper. Alright, Cooper. Give me that letter, buddy. Perfect. That said for Merlin? I don't need Merlin. I need to go give this back to Paracarry. Hold on. Paracarry. I'm coming for you, buddy. I have you things. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of Monty Bowls. Excuse me? Those were not there originally. I wonder where they came from. Hmm. Weird. All right, whatever. Come down here. No, wait. Wrong way. Wrong way. That was... Yeah, this is the sleepy sheep. I don't want this. Wrong way. Come with me, Cooper. Probably could have taken the slide, but it's no big deal. All right, here we go. Paracarry. Hello, sir. I found your thing. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, that's the one. Oh, wow. Thanks for finding it. I'm so relieved. Oh, uh, actually, I was looking... Uh, of course you were. Of course you were. Wasn't my fault, really. If you find them, tell me. Thank you so much. All right, well, bye, Paracarry. I need the heals. So I got the heals. Bye, buddy. I don't need you anymore. And then, here we are. Let's go see what adventures we can find here. Monty Mole, why are you back? Huh. So that's very interesting. Here's what I didn't realize. So the Monty Mole, which no big deal that it's here, whatever. But the Monty Mole actually counts as a... Well, I guess not the Monty Mole. The, uh, the Paracarry area actually counts as like a safety town zone. I don't know why I didn't expect that, but I really didn't. So now we can't exactly bring back the letters unless we have them all or the Monty Moles are going to respawn. Hmm. Disappointing. No big deal, though. Whatever. Cool. More Monty Moles are dead. 
We're actually getting kind of close to a level up here. I know that 70 is still a long way away, but that's really not that bad. But let's go ahead and get out of here. Take me away. There's the save point again. Now, we know there's Monty Moles here, which are going to be crazy. They didn't even come out that time again. Whatever. Monty Mole right here. We knew about that guy. But there we go. It's like we never were attacked. Perfect. All right. Where the heck are we now? How much you want to bet that's an enemy? Place your money on it right now. That's an enemy. All right. Hold on a minute. 100% that's an enemy. 100% that's an enemy. Called it. Called it. Oh, wait. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. My hammer, which does two damage, didn't actually hurt him at all? Oh, I don't like that. Hold on a second. What the heck? A cleft. What the heck? Uh, oh, that's a cleft. Clefts are pretty strong, so you better be careful. Oh, max HP 2, attack power 2. And... Oh, there are just twos all around. Okay. Their specialty is pretending to be rocks. Why? Why is that a specialty? If you get hurt by a jump on their spikes on their head, you'll know that it's courage running. So, here's my thing. I have to use charge if I want to actually hurt this guy. You have to. Yeah, that's the only way you can do it. Unless you use Bombette to use Bomb, which only does one damage, and you're using three FP for it. Oh boy, those guys are going to be vicious, aren't they? Okay, so we're really going to have to watch for clefts. Good to know. All right, what else do we have about this way? Anything? Nothing. Oh, wait, hello. That's the flower guy. Hello, Mr. Flower Man. I see you. I know about flower guy. All right, cool. So we go ahead and get his seed as well. Also, just the fact that we get to kill a Monty Mole is worth it. I mean, after all, goodbye, Mr. Monty Mole. You were in my way. You had to go. Bye. Give to me. Thank you. All right, what else do we have here? We have Cleft, which we already know how to kill you. I just need to make sure I get first strike, because if I don't, I have a feeling those guys are going to hurt if they hit you first. Oh, boy. There's a double. Oh, boy. There's a double. All right, let's go ahead and charge with Mario. Cool. And now, Goombario, you can just hit him, whatever. It doesn't really matter what you do, because you're not going to do anything. Even Cooper won't do anything, and Bombette won't do anything unless I use Bomb, and it's not worth doing it to waste the flower points. Yeah, it's really not worth it at all. So let's go ahead and use Hammer now, now that we've got the charge done. Goodbye, Clef number one. Boom. Too bad I can't charge my Hammer outside in the open world before I come here. That's very disappointing. Oh well, no big deal. Go ahead and charge again. Perfect. And now, Goombario, sir, I need you to once again sacrifice your body for science. Goodbye, sir. You were a good friend. A good amigop, even. I don't know how to dodge that yet. I gotta learn that dodge timing, because that dodge timing is so weird. Perfect. There we go. We've done it. Go us. 82. Nice. Look at all those coins. Oh, I'm not going back down there. All right, bye, coins. You're gone forever. How the heck do I get over there to that flower guy? Huh. There might be a P-switch somewhere I have to hit in order to unlock the bridge or something. Alright, so there's another cleft. Wait a minute. Question. Question. I just remembered this. Remember, you can use Bombette. We learned this inside the Koopa Bros Tower. You can use Bombette to summon in right away to get a free bomb. So, in theory, we can do this. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Get him close. Go back to Rock State. Now, you come here. I missed it. Dang it. I missed it, though. But that I think that's the right thing to do. I really do believe that's the right thing to do. Because now we're going ahead and charge again since, you know, I messed it up. And I will admit to the fact I messed it up. Bombette, use your body slam, madam. Goodbye. Unfortunately, it does nothing. We already know about that. And then you charge, and then Monty Mole's going to throw his rock. Thankfully, I've learned how to dodge the rocks. But I still need to learn how to do the cleft charge better, because that thing's going to hurt really bad. All right, there we go. Now, Bombette, I really need you, madam, to do some damage here, because if we don't, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. All right, here we go. Give me dodge. <gasps> oh, no! Uh-oh, I didn't realize I only had two HP. Uh-oh. Well, everyone, 
that's all she wrote. So, guys, poop. Uh-oh. Next time on Paper Mario, we come back with a vengeance. Cleft, your days are numbered. If you guys like this, then please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, OGM, signing out.